What's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome to another edition of the New Inspiration Extraordinary Gentleman Podcast. This is Sean Ayrton coming at you right now, talking about the science behind how you dress. Known as the, uh, there's a concept called enclosed cognition, which was introduced in 2012 by cognitive psychologist Hajo Adam. I believe that's how you say his name, and Adam Galinsky from Northwestern University. What this concept basically means is, quote, the systematic influence that clothes have on the wearer's psychological processes, end quote. The psychologist also mentioned two key factors that support the concept, quote, the symbolic meaning of the clothes and the physical experience of wearing them, end quote. Considering the first factor, symbolism, think for a moment about who wears a white coat. Visualize that for a second. What did you visualize? Most, li most likely a doctor, right? So considering that, in a hospital, when you see someone wearing the white coat, you assume they're a doctor and that they have expertise or authority. You behave differently around them compared to the, the receptionist or other staff, right? Well, that's because of the symbolism behind that, co that coat. However, Adam and Galinsky wanted to understand how the symbolism affects the wearer's self-perception, which was done by conducting a few studies. So with study number one, using two groups of random participants, one group wore white lab coats and the other did not. Both groups performed a simple test where they had to find incongruities on printed materials. The word blue was printed in red, while green was printed in yellow. According to the findings, the group in white lab coats performed twice as well as the other group. Now to compare that with study number two, this time they used three groups. One group wore a white lab coat believing it was a doctor's coat. The second group wore the same coat but believed that it was a painter's coat. And group three was the control group, and they wore standard clothing without the lab coats. These three groups were asked to identify discrepancies in a series of illustrations. Those who wore the doctor's coat found more inconsistencies than the other two groups. Because the group believed they were wearing a doctor's coat, they basically felt smart, smarter and as a result acted accordingly by outperforming the other two groups. They performed the best. In study three, this was identical to the second study. However, some groups didn't wear the doctor's or painter's coat. They just observed those who wore the coats. And again, the, do the people wearing the doctor's coats performed the best in this study as well. So now let's think about these studies practically, right? What are the psychologists trying to tell us? They're illustrating that the symbolism of clothing impacts our cognition both on our thinking and behavior. One of the biggest takeaways was how much it can change the way we perceive ourselves even if no one is watching. So. You guys out there who work remotely, try dressing better for the home office and see how it changes your performance. Similarly, and to the opposite effect of that, if you go into an office to work, switch up your attire and see how it impacts your performance and also observe how other people treat you based on that appearance. So I just wanted to share with you really quickly about this uh, this scientific study done by uh, Hajo Adam and Adam Galinsky. It's a very important study. And it's only been a few years since this, this information came out, this research came out, and there hasn't been much since that. Um, but it's very important to think about, especially when you are trying to be successful by influencing people, whether you're in sales or 
other business categories. These are super important, even in dating as well. So consider this study the next time you take it, um, take time to dress yourself. And again, this is Sean Ireton. Thanks for listening to the New Inspiration Extraordinary Gentleman podcast. Again, this is Sean Ireton thanking you for uh, joining us today. And uh, follow us on social, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, as well as LinkedIn, at New Inspiration, N-U-I-N-S-P-I-R-A-T-I-O-N, New Inspiration. Go find us on social and give us a follow. Uh, We'd be happy to have you. And in the meantime, take care and make the rest of today extraordinary. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.